Today my guide Travis has taken me out onto the main lake to fish a number of known spots where big brook trout will forage for food. There's no hatches happening, so we'll have to experiment to find what works. So you got me throwing this chartreuse uh, rabbit strip with a cone head on it. Yes, sir. What does that look like, do you think, to them? I think it's just a really brightly colored leech, maybe. But uh, where the water's so dirty and uh, is very visible for the fish, mm -hmm. I think that's what uh, really makes them strike. So Travis, you've got us into the honey hole, as it's commonly known, here at Igloo Lake. And it's referred to as a honey hole for what reason? This is referred to the honey hole because as the summer goes on and the water warms up, there's like a little cold spring comes in here and the trout stack up in here. That you can, you, when the water is more clear, you can look out over the boat just like a couple of weeks ago and me and another client, we seen six trout swimming around together. Six biggest kind. But uh, I mean, they, they just really concentrate in here when the water warms up. Oh. Whoa. Nice. That's a trout. Yeah. See the fly line jump. Lifting it up. Woohoo! Big papa. <sighs> Got him. Look at it, fills the net. Look at that. Fly popped right out. Look how many fishes. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Up down. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.